The following contains strong language, nudity, and scenes of a sexual nature. I've got something that I'm ready for you to do. Do tell. I'm ready for you to meet Josh. Alright. Oh. I was wondering when you were going to ask us. Finally, I am going to get to meet Josh. It is a huge deal. She just wouldn't let us meet that person if she wasn't like madly in love with them. I'm excited. I can't wait. I'm really, really excited. <laughs> Why? I've heard so much about it. It's because you are just happy that I'm not with someone else. Well, that might have something. <laughs> Josh meeting my parents means so much to us. The last boyfriend they met was Stephen, and that ended so badly. I just really want this to go well. Right, well, I'm gonna go now and get changed because my clothes are soaking. What do you think of that, then? I just thought we treat her nicely. Makes her happy. But don't grill them up. I won't grill them, man. You look very fit, mind. It's this cap that brings a glow on the side of my skin. <laughs> I feel like it does. You've had your beard trimmed as well? Yeah. Whoa, yeah, fit. Like you know, obviously, how you're going to meet my mum and dad? Yeah. First, I want to tell you where we're going to go. Go on, then. We are going to go to a ping pong place. All right, yeah, that's all right. Get pissed. So you think that's a good idea, then? Yeah, I'm happy with that. I think it's so sweet that Josh is nervous. I've never been with a boy like this. He's not arrogant like we normal type, and I love it. Last night, Josh messaged us to tell us he loved us. I haven't spoken to him since, so he hasn't said it out loud yet. But there's no time like the present. Hiya. Are you with the boys now then? Yeah, I'm with the lads. Do the boys know what you said last night? No. Are you ever going to tell them? No. Why? <laughs> Do you remember what I said? Yeah. <laughs> Is it true? Do I need to drop any more hints? Come on, Josh. You're not that thick. Just say it out loud. She <laughs> don't know. I feel like you're messing with me emotions. Just say the words! Just say them! I don't think you've ever been sarcastic, are you not? I'm not being sarcastic. So you say all these nice things to us last night, and then when you wake up in the morning, you're just like, ugh. <laughs> Listen, I've not even had the chance to have a poo this morning. <laughs> I think I'm much more important than a poo. Well, what I'm saying is I've not had, I've not had a chance to have a poo. So never mind texture. Okay then. I totally understand it's much more clear it was now. I was so such a fool. <laughs> Is that what you want? So funny the wife you have No, I'm just gonna go now, Josh. Alright. Much love. Bye. Much love. Much love. If every time I want him to open up, he's just gonna walk away. I honestly don't see a future with him. Got up and left us yeah, left us alone in the restaurant. Yeah, because you got a bad attitude. I need a toilet. No, you didn't need the toilet. That's <laughs> a lie. I didn't. Can we not just leave this now? Because it's like this conversation. I just want some answers, really. And sorry's okay. Sorry is an apology, but it's not an answer. My relationship, my relationship history. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't, I haven't, I haven't been seeing a girl longer than three months, and like, yeah, I'm just scared to open up to you. Why? Listen, you've got to realise, Drew, haven't you been in relationships? Like, it's easier for you than what it is for me. Finally, Josh is opening up to us, and this is the first time he's ever done it. Hearing Josh say this is making us realise this is all so new to him. I need to be more patient. I'm not that scary, you know, you can open up Res. You seem quite scary tonight. I will accept anything you want to open up about with open arms. <laughs> And open legs. <laughs> oh my God. Charlotte always manages to make me laugh. I never meant to hurt her, so I hope we can get back on track again now. So you're not that angry then, are you? I'm so glad that I've spoken to Josh and gotten to the bottom of it. Now he just needs to win over my parents and hope for Mel to forgive him too.